I'm Burkhard Bilger. I'm a staff writer at The New Yorker, and I've written a piece on deep caving. 5.7, This footage is from Stone's 2009 and 2010 expeditions. They both took place in an area called Cheve, up in the mountains outside of Oaxaca, Mexico. And it's an area that has a huge number of cave entrances. And underneath the mountain there, there's just this rabbit warren of caves threaded all the way through it. The basic formation of the Cheve system is a little bit like a stair step. So you have these long cliff faces underground in the dark, often with water coming down them. And then you'll have narrow horizontal passages that can be extremely tight. Hola. crawling on your belly sometimes or just winding your way around. Occasionally, you'll get to a place called a sump, which is a place where all the water that's been drifting in from all over the cave gathers into a tunnel that's completely flooded. So not only are you climbing down these cliff faces in the dark in freezing water, but you're carrying in duffel bags food, and you're carrying clothes, and you're often carrying these very heavy scuba gear units with you. Exploring a deep cave is something you have to do in stages. Generally, cavers go down for a little while, they set up a camp, they come back up, they go back down again, they push a little further, they set up another camp, they come back up, and they do that back and forth till they've gone as deep as they can in the cave. The base camp is up at the top of a cloud forest in these mountains, and they've set up a giant tarp, and Bill Stone makes a big deal out of trying to have this very Lance Armstrong type of diet with a certain percentage of protein and fat and carbohydrates. The truth is that that holds out for a while, but eventually they end up eating pasta and candy and everything else that we all eat, whatever they can get in Mexico. The mealtimes tend to be one of the great things at a camp like this because it's a real respite from the miseries of the conditions underground. Mm -hmm. 